Movies like Close Encounters of the Third Kind and television events like ABC's V miniseries attest. There's a public fascination with the subject of UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But people continue to report real-life sightings, and in recent weeks, nowhere are there more sightings than eastern Nevada. Colo 8 News Now's Ed Pierce spent the weekend in White Pine County investigating the strange lights being seen there. And Ed, this, this sounds like kind of far out there stuff, yeah. but, but you have multiple witnesses and mm -hmm. at least one piece of video. A short piece of video, which we will show you. These people aren't sure just what they saw, but they're sure they saw something, and it was unlike anything they'd seen before. Ely sits in one of the most isolated corners of the state. The nearest communities of any size are hours away in any direction. If you live out here, chances are you drive a lot and you work outside. Away from civilization's light pollution, the night sky is as full of stars as the landscape below is empty. You take note of anything out of the ordinary. And lately, people here have been seeing some strange things in the nighttime sky. Highway 93 runs north and south through Step Throw Valley. Sixty miles north of Ely is Lagos Junction, a pair of streetlights and the occasional car or truck, the only interruptions to the darkness and silence. Late the night of October 2nd, Sean and Heather Morrison and their son Travis were driving back from Wells. And I caught it out of the corner of my eye, thought it was a shooting star. But it was a moving. That, and I'm looking at him, he sees it out my window. So I turn and look and caught just the tail end of it right before it disappeared. They watch the lights, stationary, seemingly hanging in the sky, blinking off, then reappearing. With a mixture of growing excitement and curiosity, they pulled off the road at the junction. Heather reached for the only operating camera she had, an inexpensive digital model meant to take still pictures but capable of recording brief clips of video. The handheld video is shaky, the light's almost beyond the camera's capabilities. We've added a spotlight effect to isolate the lights. The Morrisons' reaction to what they were seeing is as recorded and unmistakable. Two of them! Yeah, look at that, two of them! You got it on video? I don't know if it's going to show up because it's so dark! What is that? Look at that! Look at that! But as we were getting out of the truck, it came back, but over in a different direction, right over there. And stayed on for a few seconds, and then just turned off. And then all of a sudden back here again, and there's two of them. Bright orange light. It was big, you know, oval. You know, it's just something we've never seen before. But I got a cheap little video camera that doesn't take very good pictures, so... You can't really tell, because the video looks absolutely nothing like what we saw. Nothing at all. Four nights later, several workers at a mine near Ely saw something similar. Orange glowing globes emerge over the Shell Creek Range across the valley. And then they saw something different. Instead of being orange like the others, this one was red. It was almost like it was a rocket. Yeah. And it actually looked like, I don't know, sparks coming off the tail end of it. And these lights didn't remain hovering. They accelerated extremely fast. I mean, they really accelerated fast. This witness was one of a standing room only crowd who gathered Saturday night at an Ely motel to hear a presentation by Mark Easter, a field investigator and the public relations director for the Mutual UFO Network, or MUFON. Drawn by the Morrison's report to the MUFON's website, Easter hoped others might come forward. They did, including this man who works in Railroad Valley in neighboring Nye County. Returning from Ely one night recently, he saw orange lights and something else. Uh, it was like amber lights lined up just in a row. It looked to me like one large object with just all, all these lights on it. None of these people are sure what they saw, but they are sure they saw something. And they are sure it was like nothing they'd ever seen before. I can't even... It was out of this world. I don't know what it was. But you're not imagining this. this is no, this is real. This is very real. As real as me and you standing here talking. And the reports continue. Since our return, four other sightings have been reported on the MUFON website. You might be curious about them, so we posted a link on our website. You can go to KOLOTV.com. Click on Hot Topics and you'll be able to follow the investigation, read other reports, and if there's a need, be able to post your own sighting.
Ed, I know you're a hard sell, but you've been out there mm -hmm. and you've talked to these people. What do you think about this? Well, you know, in all things paranormal or supernatural or unexplained, whatever, uh, I'm a skeptic until I see it myself. Having said that, I have to say that I'm convinced that these people did see something. They're not making it up. They saw something they can't explain. I can't explain it either, but they did see something. Makes a nice mystery. Yeah. Thanks, Ed.